Okay guys, I'm going to show y'all a real quick video on how to properly take your gauges off of the unit so you're not uh, taken away from the refrigerant level from a uh, customer's house or, you know, our church or uh, commercial unit. Just in, in general, you don't take your gauges off right. You got to look at this. These hoses here are about five foot long, about like a quarter inch to three eighths. So they're gonna hold a good bit of ounces in there. I mean, and every time you put your gauges on and take your gauges off, and you don't do it correctly, then you're, you're doing the your customer a disservice. So I'm just gonna show y'all real quick how to properly take them off, and you need to. We'll go over here at your gauges. The first thing you want to do with the gauges is there's going to be a little air in your manifold. So you want to come over here. It's not a big deal. You just want to get that out of there. Uh, also, over here on the suction as well, just like I just did on the high side. I'm going to skeet just a little bit out. Just a minute, school. That's it. That's it. That's all, that's all you got to do. You got the air out of your gauges. Come over here to your high side because you want to trap that liquid inside the gauge. All right? So you want to cut that bad boy off. Now you've got all of the liquid trapped inside of this hose. Still hooked up. You gotta do this while it's running. Okay. Gonna lose a little bit here. Yeah, y'all know how it is pulling off a liquid line when it's running. Now, it's still running. So this suction pipe, okay, it's sucking. Right? So that's why we took the liquid line off. Alright, now we come over here to our gauges. And we want to open up the liquid line, the red line. Open it up, and that lets the liquid flow into our middle charging port. The middle charging port has pressure on it now. We do the same thing that we did previously to the other two lines. Let a little bit of that air out. Okay. Now, for the last step, we go over here to our suction and we open that valve up just like that and when the pressures equalize on your gauges see how it's going down on the on this one then we know all right once it equalizes it's pulled all the liquid out that it's going to pull now back down here last thing to take off is our uh our suction so instead of a ass ton of liquid spraying out you're just gonna have just a little bit of vapor see how how that was wasn't much at all okay so that was just a real quick tip on how to properly take your gauges off of a system okay all right see y'all in the next one if y'all feel as though y'all got value from this video i would appreciate y'all liking and subscribing and in the comments down below commenting I subscribe and I will reply to your comment. Thank you.